YouTube. My name is Ruby Patchouli and on this channel we talk about curls, wellness, travel. Today's video is going to be a completely new curly hair wash and go. I'm going to be using new products that I've never used before and all of these products are considered drugstore brand. They are very budget friendly. I think that I picked some good ones so let's get into that. First thing I'm doing is washing out the pre-pooing treatment that is currently in my hair. Next up is going to be the Pacifica Rosemary Purify Clarifying Shampoo. I will be using this only one time, making sure that I am focusing on my roots. I'm going in with my scalp massager that I purchased on Amazon. This works wonders, everyone. And then I am simply pre-detangling while I have the shampoo in my hair. Make sure to rinse off all of the shampoo before you go in with your conditioner. Next thing is going to be our conditioner and today's conditioner is the Pacifica Pineapple Hydrate Curl Nourishing Mask. I am leaving this mask for five minutes and then we are rinsing it off. Since these are new products that I haven't used before, I want to take a look and see how my hair feels before applying any any products into it i want to see if the shampoo and hair masks that i use are good my hair smells really good all right so far so good i am going to re-wet my ends because they're starting to get a little bit dry i really need a haircut and i think i'll be giving myself a hair trim pretty soon. I'm so afraid of getting my hair cut because <laughs> I don't want them to cut my length. I just want a shape. Eventually, I will do that probably in a few months. Like, but let me get my Mr. Bottle. Life is but a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're going to get. First thing I'm going to use is my leave-in conditioner and my leave-in conditioner is the As I Am Classic Leave-In Conditioner with extracts of coconut, amla, sugar beetroot, green tea, lemon, apple sugar cane so this is the leave-in conditioner that i have been using since december and i love the ingredients it has coconut oil my hair responds very well to coconut oil i know some people don't like it but if it works for you keep it up this product i bought from i think i bought this from walmart and if i'm correct it was either somewhere between $8.99 to $10.99 for a 8 fluid ounce bottle which is a pretty good deal so this is how much I put in my hair so I like to start with my ends and then work my way up I will also take the front of my hair and apply a little extra to the front because your front hairs they do a lot for you so you have to take care of them <laughs> a bit more than the rest of your hair all right so that's done okay the next step is our styling cream the styling cream that i'm using today is by dippity do and i got this for four dollars and fifty cents at marshall's this is the dippity do girls with curls curl defining cream it's supposed to nourish, control, and define your curls. So the instructions are, <clears throat> let's see, work cream evenly into damp, towel-dried hair with fingers, working from roots to ends. The ingredients, it has glycerin, and if you have low porosity hair, glycerin is actually pretty good for you. It has silk amino acids, so it's giving you some protein, which is what our hair is made up of. It does have silicone. It has dimethicone. However, that should be okay if when you're shampooing your hair, you're shampooing your hair with something that has uh, a little bit of sulfates. So you don't have to steer clear away from sulfates. Just make sure that you're not using harsh sulfates and maybe don't use a shampoo that has sulfate every single time. You only need to use a shampoo that has sulfates if you're using products that have silicone. So the way that I'm going to style my hair today is sections. I'm going to brush style my hair. Parting my hair in the back. And this is how much product I have. Maybe a bit too much for that side. So I'm actually only going to use the product that's on this hand for the back of my hair. 
starting at the ends, working my way to the mid shaft, and then the roots. Now, because I have extra on my hand, I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hair. I'm going to part my hair again from behind the ears, grab a little bit more, this much. By the way, this smells really good. Now, I'm going to grab a little for the front. This is pretty runny. It kind of resembles like a gel, like a, like a pudding gel, like the Camille Rose Curl Maker. That's the consistency that this has. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with brush styling. This is not gonna be very intricate. I'm just gonna go section through section and I'm just gonna pass my brush through. So this is the section I have. The way I do this is I put my brush on the bottom and on the top and just smooth it down. Same thing with this side. Take another piece. Much easier when <clears throat> you have a mirror in front of you. That's why I keep looking this way. I have a mirror right there. And that's how I'm able to see if I'm getting all of the hairs. The thing I like about brush styling is that it helps to eliminate frizz. It helps to smooth down all of those little flyaways you might have that contribute to frizz. And it also helps with definition. And if you have knots, it helps with that too. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going. today's routine which is why I'm doing it like this I want to see how my hair falls on its own so now it's styled the next step is gonna be our hold step and I'm going to be using mousse today the mousse I'll be using is by Dippity Do Curls yet again. It is the Curl Boosting Mousse. I bought this mousse for $6 at Marshalls. Directions, apply mousse as needed to hair for added volume. Concentrate on roots. I'm gonna start with this much first. Actually a little bit more, one more pump, this much. I'm gonna concentrate on the roots, like it said. Grab a little bit more. And now I'm going to start putting on the rest of my hair. One more. One more of these. I'm grazing my hands through my hair, making sure not to disrupt the curl pattern that's already forming. Now we're done with styling. The next step is going to be to diffuse. I'm actually going to show you how I diffuse. I'm showing you guys my entire routine from in the shower to the end. So we have our diffuser. When it comes to diffusing, you want to diffuse on low heat. For the Dyson, I find that I get a lot of heat just using the low heat. So sometimes I will go back and forth between no heat and low heat. When it comes to how much air is coming out, I usually do a two. I'm not trying to be here forever for my hair to dry. <laughs> but if you do see that a level two of air pressure is too much for your strands, like if you see your strands blowing away, I would say go down to one. All right, so let's start this.
my hair looks 100% dry. I think it probably took me about like 25 minutes to diffuse. Whenever you have clumps, your hair is gonna take a little longer to dry. Clumps is a good thing. The only thing is that you have an extra step at the end of your styling, which is to unclump the curls because you don't want to leave it. I mean, if, if you want to leave it clumpy in, in the clumps, that's fine. It's your prerogative. However, if you want to achieve a more voluminous look, you're gonna have to unclump your curls. Whenever you do the hover technique that I just did to diffuse, that technique helps a lot for elongation. It won't cause too much shrinkage. Once you start applying your diffuser like this to dry, that's what causes shrinkage. I didn't do that because sometimes when I am diffusing like this towards the end, I find that my ends get a bit frizzy and dry. Now to scrunch out the cast. I don't have that much of a cast, but it is still there, which is good. That means that your wash week should last for a few days. Even though I would love for my washes to last an entire week, that's not suitable for me because of my scalp. I do have dry scalp, flaky scalp, so I usually have to wash my hair like after the third or fourth day. Most important thing, do not scrunch your cast unless your hair is 100% dry. When you unscrunch the cast, you want to do it using a sealant oil. So the one I'm going to use is by Cliganic. It is organic. It's certified jojoba oil. I purchased this on Amazon. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm, I'm going to use six drops right now. I like to put it in between my fingers and just scrunch the cast like this. I'm gonna get a few more drops and focus these drops on my ends. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pick to try and scrunch the cast from my roots. Now I am going to unclump my curls. I usually like to start in the bottom. This is how I do it. So you see this big clump, the big one. I'm gonna unclump this one. I like to curl it in the direction that it's already curled. This part can be tricky because you can definitely create frizz doing this, which is why you wanna make sure you have oil on your hands. Not too much because you don't want your hair to be greasy but all i'm doing is i'm trying to go from closer to the root and break the curl apart but then curl it the same direction it was curled and that's how i keep the same formation so that one big curl is now four curls see now again this step is optional if you have thick hair you probably don't need to do this step i have fine hair so i need to do this step because if not it's I, i'm gonna look like i don't have a lot of hair and i like to have volume and this gives me volume So these are the final results after declumping, after everything. Whew, I am hot. Oh. Now, if you want more volume, you can definitely use your pick and just pick away. Whew. 
Okay. Looking good, looking good. Show you the back. Back. 